everyone, it's Alex. Welcome back. So today we're going to be making worms and dirt. So for the worms and dirt, you're going to need a pack of Oreos, some chocolate pudding. You could buy the pudding mix and make your own pudding, but I just bought the pudding cup. Um, gummy worm. I have the sour ones because I like those ones better, but you can use any gummy worm that you like. You're going to need a glass put them in, a rolling pin, and a pretty big um, Ziploc bag. Okay, so before we get started, if you can all go wash your hands and then we'll get going. Okay, so to start, we're going to open up our bag, and in the bag we're going to put, um, let's say four Oreos for now. We can always get some more if we want. For now, I'm going to put four in my bag here, and I'm just going to seal up my bag so that we don't make a mess, and then you're just going to take your rolling pin and crush the Oreos. So you want to crush them so they're in pretty small little pieces. So. and see if there's any big chunks that I need to crush again. Perfect. So I don't know if um, you guys can really see that, but you can just see our Oreos are all broken up into little pieces. So for now, we can just set this bag to the side. Now, if you're making your own pudding, this is when you would do follow whatever the instructions say and make your own pudding. But since I'm being lazy and using um, this container of pudding, I'm gonna go ahead and open the pudding and I'm going to take my glass and I'm gonna put the pudding into the glass. I'll just tilt it down like that so you guys can see. So I'm just gonna put the pudding into this glass. Now you could use a jar or an, any other kind of clear container, but I think it's most fun if you do it in a clear container so that you can see your worms and dirt, but really you could do it in any container that you wanted. And since I washed my hands, I'm just gonna use my finger to push the rest of the pudding off and maybe like put it on my after. Perfect, so I'm just gonna throw this in the garbage and put this in the dishwasher. Okay, so my next step, I'm gonna take my gummy worms and my cup of pudding open the gummy worms and I'm going to take the gummy worms and put them in the pudding. So you want them to be um, kind of buried in the pudding but also still sticking out a little at the top. So I'm going to try to use one of every color here but you can do as many worms as you like. You could also do other gummies I guess. You could do like um, gummy bears and dirt or Something else, but I'm putting worms in my dirt. Maybe we'll do one more here. Oops. So, as you can see, I have four worms sitting in my cup of pudding. Oops. Next, I'm gonna take my bag of crushed Oreos and I'm just going to put my hand in because again I clean, I wash my hands so they're clean. So I'm just going to put my hand in here and sprinkle the rest of the dirt over top. So you don't have to use all of this, you could use however many you have, you could split it into two cups. I really like Oreos so I'm going to put a good amount of Oreo dust in here. Dr. Worms and your dirt and your ground. 